Today we're going to talk about uh, insulating walls and we're using the Owens Corning product. It is a uh, high density uh, long fiber fiberglass. We're using our, our industrial blower uh, and it comes in bales. So we, we load these bales into our uh, into our blower and it runs through runs through the hoses. We've fabriced off, off all of our walls in previous videos you've seen how we uh, optimize the ventilation and the insulation on the top uh, we're going to use a different technique here uh, we're using the uh, this is an owens corning fabric that was applied to and stapled to the walls it is a breathable fabric so air can can come out of it and this the reason for this is because this makes it so that even in areas around outlets such as this, every little area ends up getting plugged in. Now, even after we put our sheathing, our interior sheathing, <clears throat> since this is a garage, we're just gonna use plywood, we're still gonna air seal that. <coughs> um, but the first step is to go ahead and, and, uh, and cut a slit. So we're gonna cut a slit. Okay, so he cut a slit in there. He's gonna go ahead and cut those slits all the way down. And then we're gonna we're gonna use the blower. We have a so you've got a hard pipe attached to the flexible tube right here. And uh, after this is all done, we're gonna go ahead and put a because this is going to be a heated space. We're gonna put a vapor barrier and in this uh, on these uh, on these walls. And then we're going to go ahead and put the sheathing. Uh, so let's go ahead and fire up the. We're gonna fire up the. Uh, uh, can you hold this? Sure can. Fire up the, the blower. We're gonna start from the bottom. We put that tube all the way down. Let's go. And it's, we need to we need to use a back and forth motion here. What it's doing is it's actually gonna puff out. We want a certain density here, so it's not going to just uh, collapse down. And we get about to the middle, and then we go all the way up to the top. Now the top is blocked off. We put some fiberglass bats in there. That allows some air to get through, and we're going to continue. I'll continue to move this this down until I feel about the. the proper density and okay shut it off okay so now as soon as the as soon as I'm done here and this is a good density and this is a good density I'm going to just pull my pipe out we've already allowed it to uh, to depressurize inside of the pipe uh, we'll put a uh, we'll put a piece of tape over there <coughs> right before we skin it and then we're going to do every single cavity in this garage the same way that's going to make it so that areas like around these uh, around these outlets and around the uh the the electrical boxes is all going to be <clears throat> closed off now there are areas here uh such as uh such as this corner which are a little bit more challenging and there's a stud right here and there's a stud right here and those are going to work great for uh great for for taking and accepting our sheathing but there's that little void back there uh, it was very difficult to to do anything that with that so what we did was we actually spray foamed inside of that uh inside of that uh, corner post now above here you'll see that we have these additional areas uh, that are open. We're going to put some bat insulation in the very top of it. That will make it so that we can blow the air into this cavity right here. It'll block it off so we don't have this little rainfall of, of pink insulation flying down on us. Uh, and then we can get a good puff out and maximize our R values on that wall. Hope this has helped. Thanks for stopping by Energy Masters.